Hello, creative birdies. How are you guys doing? I am not supposed to be doing what I'm doing. Are you supposed to be doing what you're doing? <laughs> well, I'm just hanging out in my room. You might see that the background is a bit different. There's lighting there that might get annoying, so I'm going to try to put something there so you guys don't have to stare at it. I cleaned up my desk. Um, <clears throat> you know how when you get something new you get inspired to clean? Well, that's what happened to me today. So Janet from the UK sent me money to buy batteries for my camera. Thank you, Janet. I already told her thank you, but I'm going to tell her thank you again. And there was some extra money, and she knew there was extra money. So she told me to put it towards my roll cart. Roll cart? Roll cart. I think that's what it's called. But I didn't go get an average roll cart that everybody else gets. I went and got one on sale, happened to be on sale the day, the day I had the money. Oh, hang on, my eyeball is itching and it just so happens that I have gesso on my fingers. Why does that happen? <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, so um, Target, just in case you guys want one, it's, it's shaped a little different. It's a little, little tiny bit bigger, I think, than the one at Michael's. Everybody has the one at Michael's or the one from Ikea, I'm assuming, because that's all I've seen. Michael's and Ikea roll carts. Target had it, and they're $25 at Target. Now, I've heard people using the Michael's gift card, a uh, Michael's discount coupon, and not here in LA, right in the front of the advertisement in the store and online it says cannot apply coupon because the roll cart is an everyday value something like that I even went in the store to go check it out and that's what they told me because I thought okay thirty dollars I have a forty dollar forty percent coupon plus a twenty percent so that's gonna make it really cheap I was super excited they told me I couldn't do it. It's like, okay, well, thank you anyways, and walked away. And you're asking me, what am I doing? I am just sitting here, and since I was doing this, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys quickly and have a chat, because I know there's other, uh, I have videos to show you guys, but I still have postcards to make, and I'm cleaning my desk, and I'm downsizing things and throwing some stuff away. Really, I'm not throwing much away, but it feels like I'm throwing things away. Um, and so I needed to empty this. I cut it open. Uh, this gesso that Angela sent me. Anyways, I want to use every last bit of it, so I'm putting it into the gesso that Janet sent me. And I know I have gesso. I have the powder to make gesso, the marble dust, so I can make my homemade gesso. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to use up what I have. Anyways, so I went and got the cart from Target. And um, it said they only had two left, one gray and one white, and I wanted white. So I got grabbed the white, and George we took his mom with us because she needed some things. Anyways, George said, oh, the, the, the box is open already. What if we get a different one? I said, we can't get a different one because they only have one gray and one white. I already looked it up online and that's all they had in stock. So we were stuck getting that. Not stuck, but I decided, let's just get it. Brought it home. I never put things together. George usually does that for me because he's sweet like that. And... I'm going to grab something to scoop the rest. A spatula looking thing. Brought it home, ready to put it together, took it all apart. Really late at night. And the thing was banged up and bent and, oh, drama. So I went ahead and 
um, returned it and got a new one. And they did have more. They did have more. Yet on Linus said they didn't. Anyways, it's fine. <coughs> I'll show you it another day. But what else did I want to say to you guys? I don't know. I kind of forgot, and that's me lately. I kind of forget everything, and that's okay, too. Um, oh, Benini. How can I forget? So, uh, Benini's glands need to get um, internally squeezed, it seems like, every month now. It used to be every s six months, and then every four months, and then every three months, and now it seems like it's every month. Uh, her little gland got swollen and started to pop out in the middle of the night. I think it was like 4 o'clock in the morning. She never asks or bothers to go to the restroom at 4 o'clock in the morning. And she was scratching at the door wanting to go out. And of course, I'm on my sleeping medicine, but I still am alert. So I went to go let her out. And what she went to go do was scoot her butt. Because I watch, I watch them when they're outside. She went to scoot her butt, and I was like, oh man, why is she scooting her butt? Does she have a dingleberry? I'm on my pill. I'm going to have to bathe her, or at least bathe her butt. So I don't have wipies in the house. Anyways. Um, it was too late to go looking for a rag, whatever. So I started washing her butt, and then I felt something. And I was like, what the heck, now what? I looked and her little butt was popping out, but not too bad, just enough, just enough to notice it. So I went back to sleep, told George if he could take her in the morning, and George said, ah, oh, he really prefers me to go with them and also to find out what's up with those little, um, little pointy things that, I, that she has next to her little um, boobies, udders, tits, whatever they're called. I said, okay, it's going to be really expensive. You know, I had that in mind. He had that in mind. He says, we'll see. Let's find out if we can get a discount, if we could talk to the doctor or what. Honey, don't you dare jump off from there. J honey, jump over here. Don't be silly. Stop teasing me. My hair, look, you know better. You're teasing me. So we went, we took her, they, we, t we asked how much it would be, and they said $40 on top of 20 for her butt squeeze. I was like, oh my god. Okay, we, we have to, we just have to. And um, we did it, and doctor came in, really nice doctor. His name was John, um, here in Eagle Rock, California. What is it called? Affordable Dog Clinic or something like that. Honey, don't you dare. You jump right here. Be a good girl. Don't tease me. I, I think I got it all. What do you guys think? Pretty much got it all. I won't be surprised if Honey jumps over here. Okay, this is trash. It's good enough. So, um... He asked if she was neutered. I said, no, she wasn't neutered. He said, okay, no big deal. Um, she's a house dog, and when I take her out, she's right by my side, and she's on a leash, and we carry um, a stick just in case something happens. I'm just sewing this future postcard just because I can, and I wanted to talk to you guys and update you guys. Anyways, um, I need some water because I do want to clean my brush off at the same time. He looked at her little udders and he said, you know what, 50% of the time those are, um, honey, damn it, I told you, honey, oh. honey, jump over here, I know you're sorry, I'm, I'm sorry you got scared, you've got to be careful. You're half asleep is what it is, honey. You gotta listen to me. Come over here. And then right here. Like you do all the time. Why are you being silly? You're teasing me. I'm staying standing just in case she tries to get down again. She went to go get down on the opposite side and she knows she can't. <laughs> it's 
sneaky kitty. Anyways, he checked her out and he said, you know, they're perfectly fine and if we really wanted to have them, um, right here, jump right here. You can jump right here. You know this. Right here. Come on. Good girl. Pixie, leave her alone. Good girl, honey. Thank you. Um, he said if we wanted to, they could just nick her little nipple on the side and biopsy it, right? And we said, okay, He's. they don't have to put her down or anything. They can do it while I hold her. I was like, oh, wow, okay. Excuse me, guys. <gasps> Honey made me nervous. Now I'm burping, hiccuping. Where's the lid to this? Oh, no. Always losing the something. Eh? Where's the lid? <sighs> there it is. Let's close that up. And um, so he gave us the toll of how much it would be, $316. And he's, But he made us feel and told us, he said, to be honest, it's probably nothing. It's not growing. He asked if she was eating, jumping, running. He checked her limbs. He, you know, moved her around a bit. He says she looks perfectly fine. It doesn't look like it's anything really bad. Just to keep an eye on it. And if we feel safer... We're more confident having it checked. It would be 316 or 318, somewhere around that. 300, you know, just to have it biops, biopsed, whatever that word is. Um, so we definitely don't have that cash, but he made us re feel a bit reassured. Hang on a second. I windexed all of my desk. I windexed the black um, studio tonic thing. I cleaned everything up. Everything up. Anyways, uh, I'll be careful with this. I don't want to wet it because I don't want it to rust. But I do want to clean it. Um... So yeah, we would feel better getting it biopsed, but that's a lot of money for us right now. We're going to save. We're going to save and see how long it takes us to save $316 or something like that. Just in case we do eventually need to have it biopsed. But we'll see. Um, but otherwise, he made us feel confident that it, she would be fine. And just to keep an eye on her and her physical well-being. Keep her exercising. Keep her walking. Keep her happy. So we'll do all of that stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know an update on that. And then this video you guys are watching will go in between the Frida Kahlo. She's all done. Um, the videos are going to come out little by little. I've moved on to a turtle. You guys haven't seen that yet, but you'll see this first because I wanted to update. A lot of you guys are asking. Uh, what else? I did go on Pinterest and I got some inspiration for the next few cards because I'm at a blank with inspiration because of what was happening with Benini, um, her butt, and then, you know, you know, just life, life happening and stuff like that. Nothing bad, nothing bad at all. Everything's fine. George thought he lost his wallet while we were at Target. And we already left. We couldn't find the wallet, so we, I, I speeded carefully back to Target. I don't know if speeding carefully is a thing, but <laughs> I did my best. Got back to Target, searched the parking lot, couldn't find his wallet. Mm. My car payment was in his wallet. And that's unreplaceable, really. We would be screwed hardcore if that happened. Um, the credit cards, all that, that could all get canceled and stopped and blocked. But not the cash. Cash can't be blocked. <laughs> Thankfully, after searching the parking lot, I went and searched under the car seats, which my seats on my car, they're very tough to put your hand under because there's all kinds of wires that go to all kinds of stuff. 
shoved my hand in, shoved my hand in, and then I felt something. I was like, I feel something! <laughs> and I started pulling, and it was his wallet. Thank God. <laughs> Anyways, just, I, I have not been, like, totally focused on the postcard so what I did is went on Pinterest and I got inspiration there's these bunnies on clouds and teddy bears on clouds holding stars they're on Pinterest I um, sketched some out but they are still gonna have of course my style and my touch but the design is not mine the design is from somebody else on Pinterest but anyways you guys will see those they're coming up my desk is really clean everything's organized um, I'm in also in the, oh, there goes my lighting, hang on. I'm also in the process of sharing with you guys what these look like, the metallic markers. I swatched one here. What these look like, the Giotto, uh, oh, that's pretty, that's going to be pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to swatch those out. I want to swatch these out for you guys and so that's another video I'm working on I'm halfway done with that one and the postcards they're gonna be a little late but it's fine I'll work into I'll work with the March and April postcards I'm working them in together so if you're a patreon or one of the ladies or, or gentlemen that have purchased my postcards they're on their way they're on their way I'm working I'm working but I'm also being a human being <laughs> and a mama and a house cleaner and a doctor and everything else that I am. A lawyer, a coach, a gardener, a cook, a referee. Mm. I'm a lot of things. As are same as you guys, a lot of you guys. Uh what else? That's it. Mm. George and I are talking about going to go get colonoscopies. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll, let, I'll update you guys on that. It's very important from what I've been told to do that. Um, so yeah, that is very important. I want to get a mammogram as well. That's very important. Never had one. Um, oh, I went to visit my mom yesterday. Uh, what was it? What was yesterday? The 30th. March 30th. Okay, I think I went on March 29th. All I know, it was a Sunday, okay? <laughs> and it was March 29th or 30th, something like that. Visit my mom, that was nice, and got to see my brother, and got to see my son. And all of that was nice, and we were there for like four or five hours talking. And having a good time. So, that's that. Um... I'm going to, George is going to be installing one of those um, things that suck up the smoke when you're cooking. An, an exhaust thing, I don't know what they're called. Over the cook range, oven cook range, stove top cook range. I have no clue. Anyways, one of those, we, from LA where we live, those ranges cost a hundred bucks. A hundred and nine I think is the cheapest one. When we looked it up in the city of Carson, it was a little bit cheaper. But when we actually went into Home Depot in the city of Carson, they were forty bucks. So we bought that. Uh, of course, we're taking it out of out of the rent, but George is going to install it. So yay! I get to have one of those. I've never had one. Uh, so when I cook, oh, the whole house smells like you know mom's cooking. They know I'm cooking all the way from outside, but everything gets sticky, and I'm constantly cleaning like. Excuse me, the seasoning bottles, the oil, because the oil and from the cooking, all of that stuff gets everywhere on the counters, everywhere in the back. Anyways, I'm also going to DIY a backsplash kind of thing onto the back of my stove because I really have been having the itch to show you guys how I cook because it's interesting. <laughs> it's good, but it's interesting. I do cooking like I do mixed media. That's how I cook. Um, they're just, it's just my style. The same as my art. I cook the same way. And I cook daily, so it would be daily shows of me cooking. So basically I would just set up the camera when I'm ready to cook for dinner and you guys will get a cooking show. But I need to work on some things in the kitchen. Um, I really, really do. I made the mistake years ago of cleaning my stove with, 
an oven cleaner but for the inside of the oven and when I cleaned the top of my stove with that it ate up the paint which sucks but and whatever um I'll figure all that out it'll come if I put the energy out there eventually everything will come together little by little as long as I put the energy and work towards it and believe in myself it'll come just like this channel did I put work towards it put the energy towards it kept my confidence up worked through hard times good times bad times middle times everything and we're here we're here now I've been here for years communicating and becoming a community anyways that's enough chit chatting I think you guys had enough of me so now that I have a battery that lasts longer I'm hoping I really am hoping that I can video for longer for those that like it you know watch for those that don't I'm, I apologize I have about six five or six videos sitting there waiting to be uploaded little by little. I don't want to overboard myself with you guys. I don't want to put a video up every single day and then I get less views and some of you guys miss it because you guys are busy. So I'm thinking I'm maybe every three days, maybe once a week I'll put something up just to give you guys a chance to watch. Also you guys can add my videos to a playlist and it'll stay in your playlist. Okay, so Catch you guys later. I'll show you guys the roll cart some other time. Oops, I need to cover that because I don't want to bug you guys with the glare over there. This is a glass top on top of a desk and I just have um, twinkle lights which I need to put some batteries in. And then these dried flowers are from Lisa Beard which I miss her. And these are from a video we did. I don't, you know what, I'm not even sure we did that video but gel pressing into feathers. There's a few of them. And these are from Lisa Beard. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking. Leave me a comment down below. I usually always have a conversation right back with you guys. Sometimes they're short and sweet and sometimes they're long. And sometimes we move them into Facebook and we have a conversation over there. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so very much. And we'll see how that battery works. I was trying to say... Ooh, is the battery I'm hoping the battery okay I'm hoping the battery will let my videos go longer but now I was doing some research and I'm thinking what if my memory on the camera gets too full and won't keep the memory of the video so I'm thinking I started looking at my camera there's a little memory slot I think my husband has a little memory card I might have to stick in there I'm not sure. I've never gone far enough on this camera to know how much memory it has. Of course it probably says it, but I'm not that technical. Anyways, I need to chill um, because I'm cleaning and then I get energy. Hey, if you guys want some good energy that's really good for you, try um, spirulina. I don't like the taste of it, so I capsule it myself. I stick it in a capsule and I take two capsules of spirulina the one that they gather from Hawaii you gotta make sure it's certified organic raw and all that good stuff and make sure you get the right spirulina um, I go to nuts.com and iherb.com that's where I get my spirulina and I capsule it myself and I take it and I love it and that's what keeps me going and it's late it's 348 I should be in bed and I'm still going because I'm cleaning Anyways, catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye, creative birdies. See you later.